Can't sing it, can you? Do, 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 do. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Whoopee <Whoopie> wee. <laughs> anyway, right, let's get on right. Sorry, <laughs> I'm shot. <laughs> <coughs> oh, fuck, you just recorded, aren't you? <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me! <laughs> shut up now. <laughs> Hashtag it's Steve. Or is that shut up? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Bob Geek here, and apparently I'm joined by... Hashtag it's Steve. Thanks for trying to hijack the show, and... <laughs> what up guys, it's David here, back again. And it's come full circle, boys. We are at <laughs> episode 7 of season 7 of Game of Thrones, The Dragon and the Wolf. Yes. By Christ, it's passed fast. Hasn't it just... Yeah. I remember just so the other sad day. It was only seven, seven episodes because when it got to like episode three, it was like <gasps> we're nearly halfway through. And then episode four was like, oh, we're over halfway through. I know it's mental. Yeah, but we've had two episodes that have been longer, maybe three. So we've probably had, had actually it's about eight. Still over quicker though, because there's no yeah. drag out. I, I don't mind in a way. Like I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I like to just get it over and done with, roll over and go to sleep. So. <laughs> You know, it's a... <laughs> See, I like that we're talking about Game of Thrones, we're not talking about your sex life. Right, okay. <laughs> um, I, I miss them travelling. Yeah, and the little stories. The only, uh, I, I think I said this on the other one, the only one that I really feel you've ever seen travel was Arya, when she met Popeye in the tavern, mm-hmm. and she had to stop for some day. Yep. And, um, but that's the only kind of travelling, travelling per se, other than when you see the boats and whatnot, you know... Yeah, they've, they've kind of they've got rid of the travelling aspect really this season, and you know yeah. what? For all the complaints it's getting, it's can worked because you're not waiting three yeah. you're not waiting three episodes for someone to go. I'm here, you know. <laughs> it's let's go to King's Landing. We're at fucking King's Landing. And they got to King's Landing from beyond the wall in one episode. How long did it take anyone else to do that kind of journey? Well, wasn't the whole of season three Rob's march south? Because season three was. Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, he, he, was, he only got as far as the Twins. Yes. Or did that even start in season two, when he started his campaign? Good well done. You know what I mean? So it was a long I time. don't remember that far back. Yeah. I I don't know, I kind of feel like... Anywhere. Sorry, I, I kind of feel like season five, there was a lot of travelling and nothing happening. And this season, there's a lot of instantaneous travel. And I kind of wish they just balanced that shit out a little bit better, overall. Yeah. But I, I remember... We, I know we talked about this last time, though. They, they put them... They pigeon themselves in a hole, though, the fact that they decided there was only going to be the 13 more episodes between the last two seasons or whatnot. You know, yeah. seven and a six. So they knew finally had to wrap, start wrapping things up and killing people off and finishing storylines and stuff. And killing people off, they did. I thought. But they not to the level I would have expected. No, but they've kind of funneled it all down now. They're, they're, they've, they've slowly dispensed of certain house lines mm-hmm. and storylines throughout season seven. Yes. But they've done it in a really subtle way where it's just, it's not like a mass, you know, oh, there's like six people dead in one episode. It's a complete, you know, shitstorm. Um, they've just slowly chip one off here and one off there and chip one off there mm-hmm. as they've gone. No, That's yeah. what I've liked less about this season. And I think even from season five onwards, it's kind of felt less dangerous. So seasons one to four, I genuinely felt that any of them could die at any time. Yep. And then I kind of feel like season five was just travelling, season six was was padding and bad jokes. <laughs> but season, season seven has been pretty darn good. Yeah. Um, but again, I've never felt like anyone was going to die or there's any real danger. No. And all the ones that they have killed off. I mean, I don't know if anyone else agrees, you can call them almost bit parts. You know fine none of them, like when Jamie got um, kicked off the horse at the end of episode four, you knew fine he wasn't dying in the, yeah. in, the, in, in the trench. You know, it's fine. I still think it would have been funny if he'd just come out the other side, the horse is cremated and he's just intact and just keeps running. <laughs> <laughs> the secret Targaryen that he is. Yeah. Yeah. So, we kick off the show with 
everyone arriving at King's Landing. Yes. Well, almost everyone. I just want to mention one thing. Oh, right, yes, yes, yes. Just when Steve's saying about like the houses going extinct in this season. I believe that um, there's a really good website that has something yeah, written yeah, about that. that. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. Yes. Because I'm reading from that website at the moment. Where uh, where would you Are go to read this? Are we allowed to advertise it? Uh, yes, I believe so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the bovekeekpodcastblog.wordpress.com and it, one of our writers, Kev, has been doing lots of Game of Thrones articles and they're well worth a read. But one of the things he's saying here is in season 7, I never thought about it like this because a lot of people just like me maybe they're focused on just what's happening they don't think about what's happened like in the sort of the long term consequences I think if you've watched them a whole bunch of times and I get the feeling Kev's watched them at least three or four times each probably <laughs> he's read Proper the books as well yeah. oh he's read the books and everything. like but each time the season so. comes on he watches the previous one first so he's yeah. probably watched it like seven times by now yeah. which <laughs> is dedication I yes. wish I was that organised yeah. but in season seven we saw House Martell House Tyrell House Frey technically House Tarly because Sam can't take the name because he Denoun- renounced it, denounced it, relinquished his claim upon joining the watch. And, spoiler alert, House Baelish as well. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's a good point. So we've lost all those houses. And, according to Kev's theory, potentially Was Baelish one. a house? Yeah, it was, a, it was him, basically. Just him, eh? And his Knights of the Vale, I think. Yeah, but, yeah. He, I mean, you, but they're you know not Baelish. Do you know how on the open no. credits everyone's got their little sigil? Yeah. yeah? So, like, you know, anyone who's a Stark has the wolf and whatnot. Baelish had a little bird, a little tweety bird thing. So, technically, yes, he had his own. Oh, well, he has, a, he has the birds coming to tell him things and the spider's got the spiders. I think that's so it's, yeah. like yeah. Although the spider, I mean, Varys, he used to always talk about his little birds and whatnot. Oh, was, I thought he was the one that said he had a little spider. Yeah, but, yeah, I know, but he's... Uh, oh, was he the one that said little birds? Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just wrong. Yeah, I know what you mean. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, technically, yeah, Baelish had his own... His own House in mm-hmm. commas. It just wasn't as big as the main players. He had a whorehouse. I missed <laughs> the whorehouse. Do you know that's a, there's Whore. things there's things I miss about Game of Thrones. I miss the fact that I thought anyone could die any time. Mm. I miss all the whores. Mm. I miss the I mean, nudity. One yeah, there was only one sex scene. Oh no, sorry, there's two now. Yeah, actually. But there's not enough nudity in it anymore. No, no, hardly anything. I and don't then, complain at that personally. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, it's a... not, I'm not that bothered, but I kind of like that how you'd always have wenchlets appearing. Yeah, <laughs> wenchlets. Yeah. Uh, sorry, you've got you've got to talk about this theory right there. I know. I want to talk about it at the end once we've discussed the, the rest <laughs> of the article. Oh right, yes, yes, right, yes. Go. Okay, joyous. So, so we're, we're at, at King's Landing. We're at King's Landing. Minus all the big players are pretty much rocking up. Minus one person, and they've got. Minus one person. I'm drawing a complete blank, and it'll be really obvious. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, 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 sorry. I know what you mean. I'm just like all the people that are arriving, right? I think you meant somebody who didn't appear at all. I'm, I'm pretty sure I wish right. I'd been filming that just for the look on my face. <laughs> the look on your face was outstanding. <laughs> yeah. So you get... Um, so you've got um, Braun going out to meet Tyrion, um, Ser Jorah. Uh, John. John well. was the spider there. Yeah. Varys was there. Was yeah. Varys there? Were, they were all yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Um, Albeit Miss Sandy. The Hound. Yeah, Miss Sandy was there. Uh, the Miss fucking Sandy. Hound. <laughs> the Onion Knight. Um, Sir, oh, Davos. Sir Davos. <laughs> I love the Hound's line where he's like, you, "If that escapes, I kill you first. <laughs> and the guy's like, "The fuck did I do?" <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, Bron is just so fucking cool, right? Yeah, he's very cool. And he's having this chat with Tyrion. There and that that was just a, just a nice moment when they say like it's good to see you. It's like yeah, it's good to see you too. You mm, know? We have glossed over just a tiny detail. So okay. The very beginning of the episode opens with the uh, Grey Worm and the Unsullied looking upon the King's Landing, and I thought from the trailer for Episode Seven there was going to be a big fuck off battle, um, and then the Dothraki arrive and Jamie and Bronn are talking about cocks. Do you remember that bit? Oh, was that this episode? That was the bit. Yeah. 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 Very, very yeah. first, like the very first. Minute or so. I yeah, could have, I could have sworn I that was last week. Was done, and then they're in the dragon pits. But I get your point. Yeah. Shit. You know what I did? I did, I done watched it on Monday. And, and just yeah, it's fine. Right. Okay. I know. I'm rusty. I had I set my alarm at five thirty so I could get up and watch it before anyone else in the house would wake up. Do you reckon you know the order better than me trying to read it off? Because they no, don't no, mention no, that on, take, on, on this, yeah, this yeah, here site, which would that. be... We'll jump, we'll, we'll jump. If, we, 
if we miss anything, I think it's blatantly. I mean, it's, it's not even that. It was just you were talking about Braun and his banner and whatnot. Braun's banner, and it was that was confusing me a bit because he was going like Cox. It's all about Cox. And James was like, oh yeah, it is about Cox. Mm-hmm. And it was like, they were trying to splice a bit of humour in, but I don't know, I felt a little bit out of place. I thought it was... the whole kind of, holy shit, you know. I thought it was pretty good. The entire army it wiped the shit out of us. So, yeah. I liked it, personally. Mm-hmm. I liked the banner, and I was kind of like, it's all about Cox, eh? I wonder how, how that's going to go down with a whole bunch of people. That seems like it's going to turn off some people and get some fucking feminist complaints. Oh, you know what? If they were going to get it, they'd have got it in Bronze first scene, probably, because he's yeah, been like probably. that the entire time. Yeah, he's Bronze uh, being Bronze. I, I still love it right now. That was seven years ago, his first scene, though. Was he in it at the very start? Yeah, man. No way. Nah, he, he didn't come into it until the Battle of Blackwater, was he? Bron. Bron. He. Well, he trained Jamie after his handcuff, which is season three. Do you remember him? Do you not remember him fighting for Tyrion's life in the first season? At the Vale, yeah. Uh, yeah. Was that the first season? That was wow. the first season, motherfuckers. So he was, he's been yeah. in since day dog. God, he's done well, isn't he? <laughs> and, and socialists have fucking increased mega style, and people are way more way more pissed off and bother about the slightest True, things now than they yeah. used to be, so... Well, the thing about Braun is there's still a backstory of his to be revealed, I think, mm-hmm. going by, again, was it was it Was it, oh, was it Kev's yeah. theory? I wasn't uh, sure if it was Kev's theory or yeah, your theory. Braun of the Blackwater is actually Braun of his reign. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. That would be great. Yeah. I am so. To find he actually did come from nobility, you know, and yeah. he's always been fighting for something, you know, he's always been fighting for his house against the mm-hmm. Lannisters, and really nice oh, swerve. If you watch it with that in mind, even the conversations he had with Jamie and Tyrion recently, mm-hmm. you kind of feel like this makes What's so he much going sense. What's to do now? That's my question, but we'll mm-hmm. get to that. Mm-hmm. Um, what I liked is when Daenerys made her arrival, her mm-hmm. big dramatic arrival. Mm-hmm. She was the one that was missing, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Very you well. get it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> was a... Um, what, you remember the cocks? No. Uh, well, I'm, 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 oh, fuck, damn. <laughs> the music they played, she's almost got like her own theme, which is a, yeah. a variation of the, the main Game of, Run, Game of Thrones theme. Um, so she's got her own theme, and they played the, another sort of variation of that, and I just loved it. It was so subtle, but it was just... Mm. I didn't notice. No, it was really subtle, and it was just like, you heard the, sort of the refrain once, and that was it. But I just thought her entrance was fucking cool. She arrives... And then uh, and she came to the Drogon's like climbing down the dragon pit and crushing the shit out of her. Oh, fantastic, eh? Right oh, it's like, it's just, yeah. But it was later on. <laughs> Does anyone see me? <laughs> <laughs> it was later on because they were talking about how the dragons were used in the fighting pit and everything and they sort of withered as the generations passed and they got smaller and smaller. Oh, and he picks up a skull. You see the jaw, like, he yeah, picks up the jaw later and it's, and it's tiny. tiny uh, yeah, yeah, in comparison. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it, no, it was cool. So she arrives, and then they, they demonstrate to Cersei. There's like sort of back and forth, you know. Cersei's like, was, did Cersei actually make the snidey comment? I thought you had three dragons. To Daenerys. no, so she didn't say that. No, no she said it later on. Because yeah. it's funny. Because there's a you see the thing online where it's like picture of her saying, "I thought you had three dragons," <laughs> and then you see a picture of Amelia <laughs> Clark laughing, yeah. going, "I thought you had three children." Yeah, oh, <laughs> I was going to say. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the war starting there and then. That would be the mountain getting set on her. Oh, that would be an it, right, for sure. How much were you shitting it when the Hound was releasing the walker? Well, wait, 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 wait. Well, what about course. when he walked up to the mountain? Yeah, I, I was like, no way, is this actually it? No. And, and, it, and it, it did, you know, it's not. It's not cooking. He well, controlled I himself. He hinted the hell out of it, though. Yeah. Which is, so I don't know, know if that's just, coming for you. I don't know if that's just blatant fan service. Maybe, because the hype of Clubane Gold. Oh, I can't even talk. Clubane Gold? Clubane <laughs> Gold's got so big over the last few seasons. Get high! And I think is everyone's in very commas favorite fan fan. Bloody hell! Try it. <laughs> what what is it after this slight like, technical <laughs> break? <laughs> Told you stop so, taking that fucking cocaine. Bam, I know, chewing my face off. <laughs> <laughs> um, Again, I wish I had a video for that one. Um, he's a handsome man, folks. Handsome. He's, he's it's like he's sat in a pen. How's <laughs> <laughs> oh, those nails? Uh, anyway. <laughs> Wherever I was going with that. So, something to do with Cold Game Ball. <laughs> right. But, um, what was Cold Game Ball. Jesus. <laughs> Cold Game Ball. Slow down. Slow it down. Yeah, in none to you. It's definitely my favourite fan theory I've ever read while watching over the last few seasons. And of course, you thought he was dead. And soon he came back last season. It was like, 
it's on. We're going to get it. It's going to happen. Then he went up to the wall and we're like, God damn it, what's going on? And it's like, the wrong going way. He's going, yeah, he's going this to take all Landon. quotes from my sex life. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's going to King's Landing. We're going to get it. He rocks up and he, and he does that just brilliant controlled. No, it doesn't end here. This is not how it ends for you, brother. Sad. I know what's coming on. you got to shout, <clears throat> we're going to King's Landing, bitch. When you're about to fucking shoot your load. <laughs> That's got to be the new thing, guys. That's got to be the new thing. I shout Dracarys. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Did you notice something, though, about the Hound and the Mountain? Same height. Yeah. Uh-huh. So... What's that, Rory McCann? I want to say he's a good six foot five. He, but, 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 but... But the Mountain's uh, always stood head and shoulders above him. Everybody else, yeah, and, and then when the hound Alpha, stood Alpha up, Thor is meant to be six foot eight, is he not? Six eight or six nine? Yeah. So he and Brienne, have... Brienne is not six foot five, six foot six. Yeah. She's yeah. like six three, six two. Yeah. Oh, what a shame! <laughs> I'm fucking five four. <laughs> I know. He's five three. <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> what five eight? <laughs> <laughs> So when you've got the hound beside Brian, I was like, I was sure that he was still a bit taller than her, but they seem about the same height. I love and their then, mutual respect. Mm, that was pretty cool. It's kind of like knowing nods. Like, mm-hmm. And then they're just yeah, the quick... I beat, I beat on you well and you're still here. And the quick exchange, like, yeah. I'm you beat on me well, yeah, but I'm still here. Yeah, don't worry, I survived. It was good and it was kind of... <laughs> it was kind of cool because they're like, I'm just doing it for Arya. Me too. All right. Yeah, job done. She, she's dangerous. She can't. Cool. It was kind of like almost like mother and father who's mm-hmm. fallen out. Yeah. <laughs> it was like we're back from the divorce. How's she doing? She's good. She's oh, fucked right. up as a result of the divorce. <laughs> but she's a fucking badass. She's listening to my chemical romance. She's got a knife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't I don't understand why he was the same height as the mountain because he shouldn't be because he's not that he's not six foot no. eight. Well, unless the mountain's height is fake. Was it actually the mountain, i.e. Half of Thor, that was playing him much this season? Because I questioned times, this last year. There was times I wasn't convinced it was him. Well, because he wasn't big enough. It, it is didn't him. Seem big enough, yeah. It just seemed like Half or Bjornsson as yeah. Gregor Clegane. Yeah, fair enough. Not Clegane, Clegane. Clegane. Clegane goal. So I, that was the thing I noticed. I was like, whoa, why is he the same height? That's yeah. not. I wonder if they put that bit in later on and Hathor wasn't around. Maybe so. I just he's not. The, he's not the same height as him. No, I do not believe. I him. think. I think it's better. camera angles because they they done the same in Captain America when because uh, Steve and Bucky were um, are about the same height, but they would have specific camera uh-huh. angles and like tricks to make Bucky look bigger mm-hmm. than small Steve. Mm-hmm. Oh right, okay. And just kind of because he had to look smaller, but he was actually the same height, yeah. kind of thing. So it's probably just camera angles and little tricks to kind of. Just make the game ball seem less one sided. Because let's be honest, if it was the hound versus the mountain, where's the hound going to fucking stab through that solid armour? Mm. Apart from anything else to wear him down, he'll be quicker. His eyes. He'll probably be better. And yeah, it'll probably be his eyes. But, I mean, even. Uh, I don't I'm know. still convinced that. He's just a fucking giant walking hi hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still convinced that the hound gets a fire sword. Well, he, he he looked into the flames and seen something, so he's obviously got like he's got the the touched. Gift to he's act. been touched, yeah. and then it'll come to it, and it'll be like he's about to get destroyed, and then at the last minute he'll just <laughs> slit his hand, and he'll just think about it and be like, ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> and it'll... That would, be, would it be in? Yeah. Would it not be interesting if if it turned out that his brother didn't put his head into flames, but somebody else? No, but the hound. Ignited a sword mm. into flames Got and Clegane hit it into his face. Because mm-hmm. he's, he's blatantly said, like, I'm coming for you, so they must have had a beef. Mm. But wouldn't it be interesting? No, he he did, like, because he shoved them in a fire. <laughs> yeah, but I know, the I know beef what was you're actually. Saying, yeah. <coughs> no, I think if. Because. The and he's first, never used it ever since he's, he's scared? Well, maybe, because the first time he's seen the flaming sword, he shit it. Mm. Remember in the cave? When Beric used it. But I thought it was just because it was fire, but it might be because. He can do it too. I That's it burned my face. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. Because getting, <coughs> getting pushed into a fire, <coughs> I think we'd do more I than just one side. Yeah. I believe it's kind of the whole, you know, it was 
basically. But if the sword goes back against you, mm-hmm. pushed against your thing face, is it covers a lot of his face. He's like, yeah. <clears throat> I think that'd be a cool way to go. Yeah, just throwing it out there in case you're listening, so, Game of Thrones writers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we got that, and we then got um, Cersei. Then we pretty much sat down at that point. Anyway. Is yeah. it just me or are these not kicking in proper Cersei. good tonight? I don't feel like proper I'm, good, eh? I don't feel like I'm on the on the fucking moon yet. I, I can't even speak. So <laughs> yeah, it's actually had my the stuff, my stuff reverse way effect. Fast. You're like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You've already finished the podcast. <laughs> You're like, what are we doing, guys? Yeah. <laughs> on to number two. Um, so we, so everyone, everyone sat down. Uh, Hound disappears down the down the steps. Hey. Um, I was just going to say, everyone disappears. We just hit 900, by the way. Yes. Um, Woo! <laughs> Thank you, everyone, who has been <laughs> checking the out the website. Yes. For the month of August, we've had 900 views. Yep. That Which is, is uh, 400 more than we were, <laughs> we were targeting for. We were for. open for 500, and uh, you guys have knocked out of the park, so that is awesome. Um, that is ultra-sexual. You all <laughs> win a special um, uh, cyber kiss from me right now. Uh, <laughs> oh man, well we're not getting repeat visits, are we? <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Slobbery bastard. Right, um, now see the bit where Braun said to Pod, yeah. come on, let's go get a drink, let's get out of here. Yes. I, we've all shared why that happened, yes. haven't we? Yeah. I know but, why that happened, yeah. It wasn't but the thing is, I was shitting it, I was like, oh my god, something's going to happen and Braun's like trying to just get Pod out of the way because he thinks he's the most innocent or whatever, right? Yeah. He knows he knows, shit's he about knows, to go yeah, down. He knows shit, yeah. And, well, yeah, yeah. I thought it was a little bit odd, but in case you folks don't know this, mm-hmm. um, Braun and Cersei in the real world, I don't know, I can't remember their names, Dave. Lena Hedy and, and Jerome Flynn. Yeah, Robson and Jerome. Lena, what is it? Is it Lena? I want to say it's Hedy. Hedy. Is it Hedy? I say Hedy. Lena Hedy and Jerome Flynn used yeah. to date in real life. Yes. I don't know when this actually happened, but apparently oh, in their wow. contracts... It yeah. says that they will not share a scene together. Yeah, things went horribly wrong. Which is hilarious. Yeah, they have it written into their contract they will not share screen time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Braun even does breakups like I would do them. <laughs> <laughs> He's easily my, my new favourite. Because Tyrion's boring now. But it's funny how then you have to think back on... All the times he's not sh- he's not been in the same room as her. Mm-hmm. He's always spoken to Jamie. He's always spoken to Tyrion. He's never even Tywin, I even which Tywin. brings us back to where we had that discussion previously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So Cersei, they bring out the white walk, the undead, um, and then less white, more Euro, of just Euro, a walker. Uh, Euro, the only thing that's happened: Euron's um, mugged off uh, Theon. Theon. Oh, it's brilliant, eh? Yeah. Euron so is the fucking as, man. As soon as Cersei started talking, Euron's just like. Kneel before me and just like just totally just takes over. Just be just, just a, in the as a total deck. Cersei's just kind of like fuck off. You know, mm-hmm. even even you think she's like getting pissed off with them, and then tells them, you know. I thought it was brave of him down, get on with it. to like to do that in front of Cersei. Oh yeah, really oh, brave. Power trip like thing. Mm-hmm. And he's 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 dressed like a badass. He's got the fucking fleet. Like he is. He's been kind of like he's made me super cool. This season. He really has. He's had some brilliant scenes, and for me, think I think he was just a bit part last season. I was a bit like, oh, I can't be fucked with this guy. But yeah, he's totally won me over in season mm-hmm. seven. It's been really good. Yeah, no, it, it's been. If you could have got any new part, you'd want to be you on Greyjoy, right? Yeah, well, well, we'll wait and see what season eight holds for him in a couple oh, of years. You know he's getting a, <laughs> you know he's getting a, a shit death, like yeah, well, yeah. But I think he might also get to have a wee fool around with Cersei as well. Well, yeah, could do. Well, well, if he can pull him. himself away Which, or out we'll of get, the arrow, we'll, we'll get to. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, anyway. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's, there's nothing better than mugging off uh, Theon, eh? <laughs> something, something nice about it. Is he named after King Robert? What? Bara Theon. I don't oh. know. I just, I, I, it was just something that popped into my head <laughs> when I was thinking about Robert's Rebellion. Yeah. It's funny how no one gave a shit about Robert's Rebellion in season one, and now. It, Everyone's so focused on it in mm-hmm. season seven, mm-hmm. especially with what we see at the end of the episode, mm-hmm. which we will come to. So, yeah. Oh, so they're man. all chatting, they're having their big uh, power trip about who's going to do what. What do you mean? Well, I like about who, you know, 
kneel before me. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, having, they're just I, having their whole... Their aye, whole. after... So this is after they've presented the undead and everyone shot themselves in Euron and oh, said, sorry, yes, can they undead. swim? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And yeah. they're like, no. No. And right, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking off. Out, yeah. yeah, but I'm thinking, <laughs> yeah. no, they can't swim, but they can probably fucking walk on the bottom of the ocean, <laughs> the bottom of the sea. Yeah. You know, like we were talking about last yeah, week. Yeah, it wouldn't take them that long to get to anywhere. With the cats of the yeah. That's what he was in. So the guy plays Euron G- Greyjoy. Pilo Asbeck or Asbeck or something. Asbeck, yeah, Pilo Asbeck is in Ghost in the Shell. Right, okay. Uh, okay, and... I've not seen yet. Mm. I've never watched the anime just because... Well, I tried to watch it a little bit and it never appealed to me that much, okay? I never really liked the cyberpunk then stuff. Then Scarlett Johansson was practically naked in it and it appealed to a lot of people. <laughs> well, actually, it hardly appealed to anyone. Yeah, well, it's well. made no money. But mm-hmm. Scarlett Hansen, I love me some Scarlett Hansen, and I thought, right, do you know what, I'm going to watch that. It's going to be sweet. But he does an amazing, he's got an amazing role on it as a battle. And I've just found out here that he's also in Lucy, which shouldn't have made any money and made a fucking yeah. ton of money. Almost half, half a Works billion. Works well with ScarJo. Yeah, I, he's say, is he, is he just I got, think he's he, fucked her. Yeah, I think he's, he's got in a contract. Just any time you sign Scarlett for a movie, just get me a bit part. I think he's an absolute <laughs> ledge. I'm all about this guy right now. <laughs> Aye, and he says, no, I'm out of here. I'm terrified. Yeah. This is the only thing I've ever seen in my life that I'm terrified about. And he storms off. Storms off. Yeah. Um, Cersei then asks John to remain neutral in the war between them yes. once it's all over and done with. And he says he can't because he already serves another queen. Yeah, and Cersei throws a fucking strop and storms off. Yeah, that's when well, well, Daenerys is like totally like flopping in her seat, like oh, oh I love you, John. Creamy, eh? You, you see yeah. the puddle dripping underneath yeah. it, you know, <laughs> googly eyed and everything. Like, what, oh. what happened to Daenerys being a fucking badass? Yeah, she's, like she's she's, she's she was lost it a bit. <laughs> she wasn't a she's heel. Met her nephew and gone fucking <laughs> way in the pants. You know? Yeah, <laughs> she was she was a, she she's was close to being a super heel. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> He's a heel! Anyway, don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no what? Carry on. Is this, is this a sidebar for later on? No, maybe. maybe. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Okay. <laughs> what was I trying to say? Yeah, she, she, she's like a super heel. Like she feels like she's going to turn for ages. And then she's just just suddenly like a little schoolgirl now. Yeah. And at the most important, meet, important meeting of her life, mm. she hardly says anything or does anything. She's not impactful in any way. It's all about John Snow. <laughs> I think this is the first time she's met someone equally as intimidating as her. And she's never had to deal with that before. Are you referring to Cersei? No, Daenerys. Because no. uh, Cersei, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cersei Sorry, was composed. Uh, oh, ah, yeah, 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 meeting Cersei. Yes. Because yeah. everyone else she's you met... You saw Cal Drogo fuck her, right? Yeah, that, but she didn't say much. <laughs> she didn't exactly no, go, she didn't. No, she didn't exactly go, no, no, no. You know, she was too busy going... It's because she loved it. <laughs> <laughs> she got his drug on um, so this is the first time she's met someone as equally as powerful as her technically you know um, as far as she's concerned she's a queen Cersei's a queen they're yeah. equal and Cersei she's heard all the horror stories she knows she's an intimidating conniving bitch so I think she was probably intimidated am I the only person here that kind of thought if I was in that if I was in that group I would just kill Cersei straight up fuck it like, I don't know, Dragon, Dracarez, dead, and then, oh, looks like I'm queen. There is a, there is a whole, I, I mean, we didn't live in those times, but there's a whole mutual respect of... Well, the times of dragons, I don't think I, anybody's lived well, in those no, times. Well, no, no, times and <laughs> whatnot, you'd, you'd hear of, like, it was kind of showcased in Braveheart as well, you've got, like, armies line up, and little emissaries go and have a chit-chat, and see, actually, are we going to fight? Are we going to settle this peacefully? There's always a kind of, let's see if we can sort it out sensibly. Nah, fuck you. Right, let's go to town. Okay? So that's what that meeting is. And yeah, yeah. So, so Daenerys can't, in the laws of, you know, ye olde times. Nah, fuck it, suck a dick. Boom. Yeah, no, Burn them all. <laughs> <laughs> then no one would, it's the whole, it's kind of like what Varys said, or Tyrion that we were talking about in, in a previous episode, where she's got to try and, rule the land she can't conquer and take over because she's too much like her dad mm-hmm. absolutely she can do it this way she kills Cersei you think that any of Cersei's um, army is going to do anything they're not going to do shit <laughs> they're going to go alright so now you're the queen cool <laughs> and that'd be it she just makes sure that she posts all them to further out parts and dwindles their forces and keeps 
the the uh, the loyals. What do you call them? What do you call them? The, the, the Dothraki unsullied. and the Unsullied close to her, and they become the new what are they called? The gold, the gold, golden army, golden army. There we go. Thank you for the names of. I'll finish your sandwiches. Thank you, but that's that's what you should have done. That's what I would have done. Guess what? You'd I'd be king right now. <laughs> you'd have lost a Game of Thrones. No, I would have won a Game of Thrones. I'd be on the throne. In the seventh round. Game's not over. I've got one more round to go. <laughs> just got to hold on to the, the, the title belt, man. <laughs> she's still... She's not She's not on it right now. But she could have been. Mm-hmm. And then John would be like, what the fuck was that? You know it'd have been funny? When they're all sitting waiting for Daenerys and they're like, well, where is she? You just see Daenerys sneaking up onto Iron Throne and going, yoink! And just sitting down. <laughs> just <laughs> li- literally sitting on the Iron Throne with a dragon behind her like... <laughs> That was easy. Yeah. Checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> Her army wades in. Sorted. So yeah, she she, she storms off. off. Yeah. And Tyrion so, says the only thing left is he goes and speaks to her. I'll go and, I'll go and try and sort this. And I honestly thought I was starting down. to think, you know what, this is going to be the big the big twist. That's what I thought. He was going to get killed. He was going to mm-hmm. sacrifice his life for Daenerys and her army. Mm-hmm. I thought that's what was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he went and spoke to him. And he had even had that exchange with Jamie, You know, when he was like, well, I uh, suppose we should say goodbye, kind of thing, you know. And <coughs> it's like, oh, no. Yeah. And then, sad times. Tear, tears may have fallen if that would have happened. Wait, wait. Oh, if Tyrion had died. Yeah, I died. thought you were going to say you were greeting and just um, saying goodbye to uh, Jamie. Oh, yeah. I was about to send you out. Yeah, you yeah. Find a pair of balls. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you talk like a man that's six five and <laughs> eighteen stone, five four and eight. You know, David uh, Clegane, the third brother, <laughs> the molehill. <laughs> um, you like Danny DeVito from Twins, <laughs> the big strong twin, and like all oh, the shit that's left over it makes oh, up somebody else, is, man. <laughs> Do you know, if someone pitched that to me as a wrestling gimmick, they wanted me to be <laughs> like Arnold. The better part yeah, of the gene yeah. pool, yeah. And they had, the, they were like, "We've got this guy right," and he's kind of, he's like short and fat and ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but it was Ian. No, oh, come on, what a heel! <laughs> but no, no, it wasn't because this guy was a hell of a worker. And he is not. Oh, burn! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so they were like, "But he's a hell of a worker, right?" So you come in and everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, there's a big man. You can just do a couple of couple of clotheslines, choke slams, and he's gonna come in and do all the work rate stuff." And I was like, "That sounds pretty good," mm-hmm. but then they really wanted me to do, like be Arnold from Twins, and I was like, "Not doing that." Ow! 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> and I said no. I was adamant then. I was a heel. <laughs> Couldn't go any other way. Sorry. Sidebar over. Nope. Back in. So yeah, we spent a good. 45 minutes or so of this episode in King's Landing with all this stuff going on. Yeah. And you see Tyrion talking to Cersei. Now you don't see what the negotiations are. Yes. That that has led to a lot of speculation yeah. about betrayals. He's a yeah. heel. Yeah. Because yep. Yep. he, he said he never wanted to destroy the family. So people are going, oh my god, it's really about being a Lannister the whole time. You know, he's just trying to get back in. And mm-hmm. um, so... Who knows what that could bring? Oh, yeah. Tyrion could end up heel and dying in the last like last season. Fuck yeah. it, heel and on the throne, and it just ends, and everyone everyone apart Only from me is happy. Like a fucking hey, foot sad. Up first, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a yellow pages, Tyrion. There you go. <laughs> that would be the best if he turned full on heel, killed a whole bunch of your favorite characters off the last minute. Had like who's 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 Cersei's hand? Kyburn. Yeah. Kyburn, yeah. Maybe had him around, but probably made the spider. His, his hand Faris, yeah, getting back. and you know just 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 ruled like a fucking horrible uh, go back sort of dictator ways. yeah go like Robert Baratheon Robert Baratheon without the fighting abilities <laughs> circle, yeah. see the moment more <laughs> wine boy so see when Tyrion comes back and then Cersei comes back and says we will join your fight and we will mm-hmm. all fight together and I was, mm. I was like I just took that face value for a minute and I was yeah, like yeah I thought it was legit was like, yes yeah. this is going to be oh, fucking excellent. amazing right. well, well, I, I thought he'd made a good spells. deal mm-hmm. yeah yeah. and that so then we um, go off to Dragonstone at that point don't we and it's some time has passed maybe a week or two I'm not quite sure but some time has passed and Daenerys is part eight are planning the travel to Winterfell and John and Jorah provide differing 
advice <clears throat> to say uh, to Daenerys, and Daenerys picks John's advice, mm. which was like. <sighs> and Jorah's like. There was a wee look from Jorah like, uh, oh, "You should be listening to me, not him. Not yeah. this pretty boy who's arrived on the scene. Yeah. I'm your, one of your most loyal, trusted friends from." Utah. I left a stone on my cock just for you, bitch. <laughs> Well, you've got. He's gone back to the sit down and be like, Where's Sam Talley? He needs to see my dick. <laughs> dick? So what? It's, it's another word for cock. <laughs> my oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. This guy. This guy's crazy. Like, <laughs> Who keeps bringing him? Wouldn't you be crazy with stone scale on your dick? <clears throat> Probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wasn't talking about Jorah. I was talking about you. Oh, me, yeah. Pal. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I'm a helicopter. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so, yeah, did you not think that it was pretty funny when um, Tyrion's like, why couldn't you just have lied? Yeah. And Daenerys is like, cool, appreciate it, but why, motherfucker? And John's like, I oh, know, but can't he oh, lie? Because no, I'm all noble and shit. Noble and I'm Jon Snow. And lies lead to thinking. I can't think. Yeah. <laughs> My dad wouldn't have lied, so... Mm. He died, and I'm, I'm I'm watching him piece it together, and he's like, "Stand to turn into Richmond from the cupboard." <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. All right, watch the IT crowd. Okay, it's like dad, dad didn't lie. Dad did everything by the book. He was noble and all this kind of stuff. And Dad's that meant, head was used as a football, and that led to him dying. So I'm going to do the exact same so, thing. Know, nice uh, one, Jon Snow. Well done. Yeah, fucking penis. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and then we have a we have an emotional moment between Theon and John. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that was pretty sweet. Yeah, Where well, Alfie Allen it. once again demonstrates that he is a really good actor. Mm. He, he's played the snivelling fool quite a lot, but the start of the seasons he was confident, cocky, arrogant. And then you've seen him being an uncertain leader and stuff like that, you know, unsure about things, failing at things. And then you've seen him be totally destroyed and become weak. <laughs> and now he's starting to try and step up and become become Theon again uh, 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 like well become the man that he always wanted to be it's like he was trying to force being this well, great man meant... and great leader did, do you did anyone ever remember why he was sent away from the Iron Islands he was, was he just sent to go was he just was basically he was, Ned was... just told raise him and he can come back no and, I think he was like uh, was he not taken as like a spoils of victory of some sort oh. There was some, mean? there was some war or some yes, battle, and he yes, was, yes. he was, was taken as part like of that. the peace treaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. exactly what it was. There, were, there was, sense. there was yeah. during the the raids that the Iron Island were making. On the, the on Iron the Islanders Islands. were making towards yeah, the coast, them, and I think um, a Rathian came to the aid of Ned Stark, or Ned Stark came to the aid of Rathian. Yeah. I can't remember yeah, if they yeah, went yeah, north or yeah. south or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and they were like, right, so we're going to keep your son as so you don't do it again, kind of collateral. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. So we try it again, we yep. kill him. Fuck me. Yeah. What? The original book came out in 1996. What? The original Game of Thrones book? Introduced in 1996 as A Game of Thrones, Theon is the son of Balon Greyjoy from the Kingdom of Westeros. That's 21 years ago. Yep. Holy moly. Fucking hell, man. That's crazy to think that your book's just sat there for like 15 years and mm-hmm. then suddenly and then exploded, it exploded and, and then you're making an absolute minute and people are like, yeah. fucking finish it. Yeah, and he's like, oh, I'm only going to take six years. What a lazy dick, year. actually. Uh, he's, was it two, it's two years ago he decided to stop doing the the conference circuit and, and, and cancel loads of appearances and sign-ins and stuff because he needed to crack on and get his book finished. Is it he's still writing? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, ten years before the events of the series, Theon was taken hostage by Eddard Stark to be executed if Balon displeased the king, Robert Baratheon. Ah, right, there you go, so there you go. So that's not the best thing to have hanging over your head. That you're raising this kid, you might have to just... It's like Kill rearing him. a pig, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's like fucking <laughs> re- rearing babe, knowing that he's going to be a bacon sandwich one day. Yeah. Speaking of bacon... I had bacon today, bacon medallions. Yes. Um, I was watching this documentary about Elvis last night. It was his autopsy, and it said that one of his favourite dishes was peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with bacon. Really? It sounds disgusting, yeah. and I was like, no. Nah. And then I thought, well, he is the king. Did you so I should it? try it. I tried it today. What do you think? It's pretty fucking good. What really? was it? Peanut butter and jelly. Oh. 
sandwich. Sorry, peanut butter bread. and jam for the UK folks. <laughs> and uh, bacon medallions. And these these pieces of bacon, for 100 grams of bacon, it was only 7 grams of fat, 33 grams of protein. Quality stuff, man. See, um, what's, what's green and smells of bacon? Kermit's <sighs> middle finger. Oh, no. <laughs> oh dear. Do you do you search dad jokes before you come round? And oh, just I follow him. You updated his stays that worked one of the dad jokes. Uh, R.I.P. Boiled water. You will be missed. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't Fuck realize that was as bad as. I mine. didn't realize there was a Twitter called Dad Jokes. Uh, no, yeah, there's a Twitter called Dad Jokes. Yeah, it's yeah. brilliant, and there's now a Granddad jokes. jokes as well. Oh, oh, what's gosh. that like? It's fucking oh, terrible as well. I love it. Is it worse? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like um, my hobby. You must catch people off hobby. guard Shit, when they listen to this, though. I, I think so, yeah. But no, no, that's not my new hobby. My new hobby is ironing cowboy shirts. How depressing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the granddad one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, Are they paying us for this... Uh, no, this, this is free advertisement because wow. people are laughing right now, right? And then someone says, what are you laughing at? And dad jokes on Steve back. will be like, oh, it's a dad joke David said, you know, on the podcast, you should go listen. <laughs> Listeners double. <laughs> double? <laughs> to two. Oh, one, two. <laughs> wow. That's nice. <laughs> that is nice. 100% uplift. So, where <laughs> were we? Always do things in percentages. So, now, Theon so, Greyjoy. Yeah, yes. Is it at this point where Theo's like, right, I'm off to save my sister? Or does that happen later on? No, this is... Is it the same thing? Yeah, I think so. Right, cool. I can't quite remember. I got a feeling, feeling it was a little bit later, but... I feel like there's an interlude at some, of something around about I here. I feel like they jumped to Winterfell and then came back. I feel like they went to Winterfell as well. I feel mm-hmm. like they went there and... Baelish is oh, like wasn't that Sansa and Baelish is discussion about people having the worst possible motive yes. I was listening to him say that and I was like holy shit I totally do that all the time <laughs> it's called paranoia <laughs> <laughs> why uh-huh. who said what <laughs> yeah that's one of my favourite lines in Civil War is there anyone ever told you you're paranoid why what you heard <laughs> that's brilliant I love Scar Joe <laughs> Twice we've managed to get it in, and not one reference to Charlie Hunnam yet. We're doing well. Oh God, Fuck here sake. Go. Splurge, <laughs> Charlie Hunnam, fucking fanboy. So I was speaking to Lee about film and various other things. What would he have seen? He told me he saw King Arthur, uh-huh. which is apparently fucking terrible. And he said it was awful. And mm-hmm. I was like, "What do you think of the main actor in it? Because you can have a bad film and have good actors." He was like, "He was fucking shocking. <laughs> he totally ripped him." The whole thing. Whereas apparently in Lost City of Z or Z or whatever you want to call it, he's brilliant and Tom Holland's brilliant in that too, apparently. So. Anyway, then I said, um, have you, you've seen, uh, you've seen what's the one with the giant robots? Not Transformers? Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I've seen that. That's pretty good apart from, and I was like, that's the same guy. And he's like, no, he was really shitting that too. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> David fucking loves him and he's totally crap. And he's like, yeah, I thought David was an actor. And I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> What's wrong with them? So, um, Lee hates them too. Oh, good for Lee. Right, okay, just say it. Yeah. And we, we made fun of your boyfriend. Okay. Any opinions that actually matter in this discussion? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think mine, because I can press pause or stop at this any time. <laughs> Don't make me pick up that mic and drop it. Boom. Nice. <laughs> so, um, where were we? Yeah, so, so uh, Theon going to. Um, so, are we going to Winterfell first? Or are we just going to wrap we'll, up the, the, no, we'll go the Dragonstone thing? Right, let's go up to Winterfell then, yeah. So, we go to Winterfell, and, and basically, Baelish was trying to prod Sansa's paranoia mm-hmm. and cultivate it some <laughs> more. <laughs> I set him up, you knock him down. Finger. Oh my gosh, it yeah, gets yeah, worse. Yeah, it gets yeah. worse. <laughs> was it just me or was Sans looking a bit puffy in this episode? A little bit. I mean, her face was looking kind of bloated. I love what they do with her, like, in the sense that they make her face seem paler and they make her hair stand out flame red. Like, they must do some work of some sort with filters or editing or whatever, but they emphasise her hair more than anything else I've noticed, and it's, it's, it's rather nice. Well. Redheads are totally I, in right now. I prefer her in real life. <laughs> you mean you're totally in redheads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I prefer her in real life to all the game of life. Have you seen her in real life? With, yeah, with, the, with, the, with the blonde hair? 
Holy Ooh, shit, man. Kinda, it's even better, I think. It was like, um, just, a, just a general get-up at Comic-Con. She just seemed awesome. She was doing, like, live feeds to when she was at the signing booth and stuff. Like I said, Red's in right now, and I'm totally digging Sansa a lot. Mm-hmm. And the fact that she's Jean Grey. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> <sighs> so cool. <laughs> so cool. Um, Yeah, this scene was quite short, and it kind of seemed like... Sansa, are you really falling for that one? Yeah, what? to me it, it felt like filler, but it wasn't. In the end. It was it was a precursor yes, to someone else because yes. he basically convinced her to. I yeah, liked it though. Her sister was. I liked the scene. I thought it was a good scene, but I just kind of felt like mm-hmm. that's all it takes. That little nudge there. Mm-hmm. I think it's been building up though. Since John's been away, he's been really kind of chipping away at her. Yeah, yeah, kind of feeding her paranoia. But not stuff. enough for my liking in the sense that she's not. She's not bought a lot of what he said at all to until today. With, no, 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 no. To start with, she was quite resistant. She said, if you've got any smart last comments or whatever, and she had that moment. Mm-hmm. Since then, since Arya's been back, and she's been acting uncertain about Arya, Littlefinger's jumped on that uncertainty. And in the last episode, he was practically her confidant. Remember when they go burst into the room together, and mm-hmm. Arya's confronted her about the letter, and she's telling... Littlefinger and he's giving her advice and stuff yeah, like that. I'd, I'd say that. And yeah. that's he suggests sending Brienne off and she sends Brienne off. Oh yeah, yeah, that did happen. And that so no, I think this totally but I know happened. I know what you mean, I know mm. where you're coming from as well. But yeah, no, I, I think, think that this feel like a bit of a switch around mm-hmm. for me mm-hmm. for her to suddenly be like, Yeah, I'm down with listen to you they, again. They've, they've tried to play that Littlefinger's been chipping away at her over the season mm. and eventually has turned yeah. against the sister, which is the, the story they were meant to portray. Did he philander her thing. when they were at the veil? No, he hasn't. He he's hasn't, never managed he's it. He's never touched her. No. Did no. he try and kiss her once, though? I can't remember. In front of her aunt. Did he not I kiss her? In, in, at the veil. After, I, thought he, I thought he threw her aunt through the moon door mm. and then him and Sansa kissed. And then I was like, Maybe. Oh, mm. she's a heel! Mm. I can't remember that. Yeah, it's a few seasons ago now. Bit rusty. I'll tell you one thing. Watch. See if I owned that castle, the first thing I'd be doing is getting rid of that fucking door. The moon door. Or putting a big crash mat at the bottom of it. <laughs> Fucking hell, honestly, yeah. Because <laughs> it's just asking for trouble. I've got a big hole in the floor. Kids, where are you playing? Oh, in the main room. Oh, okay, watch the hole in the floor. <laughs> Weed out the weak from the strong. Oh, the dumb it's for the fucking dumb from smart. The smart. Yeah. <laughs> that kid, what happened to that kid? I was thinking about that, Robin. Robin he's still there, isn't he? Is he? The, well, no, he got he sent off to what? To... Oh my God, he got sent off to be a... Oh. He got yes. sent off to be a soldier. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, Bale sent off to do some oh, soldiering. He convinced him oh, that he had to be a soldier. To... I, thought it was, I thought it was basically just sending him off to live a bit of real life and toughen him up. But it was to get him out of the way. Yeah, it was oh, so he might pop back then, because does that mean that He's he... technically Lord of the Vale. Yes. And there's no Baelish now in the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. so really it should be him. But what well, I was reading stuff again online, people don't think that people will actually follow him. Nobody views him as like... Like Leanna Mormont, right? She's a kid, but people were like, well, you know, they, they stand yeah. behind her, right? But no one would do that with Robert Aaron because everyone knows he's just a fucking. Bell end. Yeah, mm. just a nightmare. So, what so, people think is that. Um, Sansa takes the veil? Name. No, the boy, the boy who. So, the old guy who was sitting um, when Baelish gets done and he turns around and says, I demand the Knights of the Veil to protect me. That guy there, who's like in very common, the leader of the army. He's I, like, you cannot famous. fast travel when enemies are nearby. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that he may default to Lord of the Vale because he has the respect. Ah, the interesting. Name is, though, interesting. Mm-hmm. I yeah. So yeah. That, so that was sure. uh, basically they were kind of Sansa suggests Arya will murder her um, because she's the Lady of Winterfell and Sansa wants to become the Lady. And then it kind of leaves, doesn't it? And it comes back to that scene later after we get the rest of King's Landing. See, I, that's the only part of the story I didn't buy. Like, okay, so just assuming that Sans is actually buying what he's selling here. And he's like, okay, yeah, she could be here, here to kill me. And I, you, you, I mean, you could kind of stoke the flames of paranoia. It's easily done. But when he says that Arya would want to be Lady of Winterfell... I feel like that would make you go, no, she doesn't. She's never ever wanted to be that. And that's not typical of Baelish to say something that would make no sense for Arya to want to be. Again, though, he's playing on the uncertainty that 
he believes Sansa doesn't know who her sister is anymore. Yeah. And she's gone off and she's done a <sighs> Maybe, lot. Maybe, yeah. And, you know, she's come back. But does she, anything give you a, a hint killer. that she wants to be the Lady of Winterfell and not go around killing people and mm-hmm. being Nothing a sneak? She's done since Nothing. She's so I think that if he said... So I get what you yeah, I get If he I said mean. something like, you know, she wants to kill you because she believes you betrayed the family and that you are, yeah. you know, you're trying to betray John now... That would make a lot more sense. If he said you betrayed her, betrayed, um, betrayed your father, you betrayed who? Who? Uh, who? Who would you have betrayed when she married? Um, fucking who, the second guy she married. The weird, the, the guy from the the guy took, Ramsey. Yeah, Ramsey. There we Ramsey go. Ramsey Bolton. No, right. Yeah, <laughs> Ramsey Snow. To she, start with. she, you've betrayed John there, and now you're trying to betray him again. You know, mm-hmm. so. I think she's trying to stop that from happening. Mm-hmm. I think that would be a better thing to sell to her as opposed to saying Arya wants to be the Lady of Winterfell. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, so we have that and then we go back to we go to can, Dragonstone can go again, don't we? we? Go, I can't remember the, the, the exact, let's go to Dragonstone first and then we'll go back to King's Landing. So this is after yeah. this is after Theon had spoke to or this is the point where Theon spoke to John Canos, I remember. And basically John says you are a great joy and a Stark. You know, it's like fucking Mufasa moment, you know, mm-hmm. and um, and then so he's he goes, like, so he goes down the beach. <laughs> but John did something that was kind of weird there at the end of that scene previously, and he kind of says, "Why are you fucking stand and speaking to me?" And then just turns and, and then off. turns and walks off. And I'm thinking, that's so badass. Yeah. Not like John Snow like at all. Like ever. John, John hates him. John does hate him. Because, yeah. You know, the only reason he said it in the last episode or a couple of episodes ago, the only reason he's standing is because he helped Sansa escape Ramsay. Yeah. So John says he forgives him, but he doesn't really. So maybe he doesn't hate him as such, but he's totally indifferent to him, and he's just like, "Why are you still standing here?" And walks off, and I was just like, "Yeah, I was the same as you." I was like, "That's a badass move." Like you're right about Reap, by the way. Mm. He is a really good actor. Yeah. He's probably played the most differing Diverse. versions yeah. of himself. He's the only one in there with a chart song about him specifically. Oh dear, what's it? No, no, seriously, his sister Lily Allen. And she had a song called Alfie, which was about her brother annoying her. It's him. Okay, yeah. Is it making any sense? You're so confused. Are you making a joke? Or no, are you being serious? I said no seriously. Yeah, yeah, no, he's legit. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I Whenever I'm know. lying, I say no seriously as well. All right, okay, yeah. see. I'm a man of my word. Apart from one time when I got a new dictionary, and pages were blank. There are no words. For fuck's sake, leave. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Jesus, Alfie. man. Is he actually Lily Allen's brother? Yeah, yeah, Alfie Allen. I did not know yeah. this. Yeah. Everyone was like, oh yeah. my god! In the first season, you know, when they realised who he was, it was quite funny. Mm-hmm. Ah, see, I don't know what happens in outside the, the movie world. world. Yeah. Yeah, because Lily Allen's like in pop or something. Well, no, she's, <laughs> well, she's, she's, she's British. Pop music yeah. like that falls That's the so lowest of the low. low. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it goes. It goes. Um, Everyone's fucking British pop music at some point. Celebrity Big Brother, uh-huh. right? And then it's British really British up. pop music, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then kind of moves up from there. Yeah, reality TV is then, like the scum of the scum, and see if it starts with celebrity, it is the scum of that scum. Oh, yes. absolutely. And it probably means they've done about eight different reality shows already. Yeah, and that's how they make their living now. The word celebrity now only means. I need to try and rejuvenate my <coughs> career. Well, you were right. I think it was you who was saying it to me that you have movie stars and music stars and musicians mm-hmm. and whatever and, and anyone that's called a celebrity is a fucking bum now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I know you make like 25, 30 Gs for like a, for whatever appearance but we know that your house is not bought and paid for and you're struggling, motherfucker. Yeah. Trying to rejuvenate your career. It's, it's, it's fucking crazy. And you're going to do some weird-ass shit on TV and just denigrate yourself. And... Anyway. Theon goes down to the boat and meets yeah. the remaining Ironborn who object. All 12 of them. <laughs> basically object to his leadership. And then one of them starts beating the shit out of him. Now... Yeah, you get to the point... The de facto leader who's left, whoever, whatever his name is, but who, the one they currently... The biggest guy there. Yeah, yeah basically. <laughs> and, uh, With the biggest beer. Yeah, and he goes and beats Theon quite badly, mm-hmm. and then he tries to kick him in the balls. Mm-hmm. And right, okay, yeah. So Before he had, that, he's told him, stop getting up. Yeah. And you're, you're, what he's de- Theon's demonstrating is he's resilient. Mm-hmm. Well, this uh, guy was awfully puffed from, from a couple of punches. And he killed him. What? 
Theo and he killed the guy. No, no, but the guy was awfully puffed just from oh, giving yeah, Theo yeah, a couple yeah. of digs. You know what I mean? Like, uh, fucking then hell, man. He kneed him in the balls. And, right, yeah. So they got chopped off. But I can't imagine it was a fucking, like, Chinese surgeon, the neatest fucking removal you've ever seen. There's going to be mutilation there. It's going to be tender at points, yeah. And Theo's just like, ah, it's not there. It's like kicking a woman, you dubber. <laughs> I've never kicked a woman in the vagina before, right? <clears throat> but I've hurt a few vaginas before, right? And <laughs> Steve almost you died. Lost it. <laughs> no, nearly spat water all over the laptop. <clears throat> Funny, I call people vaginas as well sometimes. Yeah, yeah, right. So I don't buy that that knee wouldn't have hurt him, even if it, even with your connotation of being some, like a woman. Like yeah. it should have hurt like fuck. Yeah, but kicked him in the stub. It's gonna hurt, you know. <laughs> I thought they were going to go a different way. I thought he was going to beat. Oh, I thought he was. Yeah. I thought he went. I thought he popped him. <laughs> um, I thought he was going to beat um, Theon a little bit longer, and Theon was going to keep getting up, and that was going to be He's when they away. respect. Yeah. I don't think Theon was going to kick his ass and that kill him. Is, that's like in. A, have you seen the film Wild Hogs? <sighs> With Ted. Ted. Oh. Theodore T- Logan. Th- no. Thingy Allen and. Tim Allen, Tim Allen and, and George, George Volta. I've never seen it. Uh, it's pretty good, like, but there's a scene where they're getting beat on, um, and they can't fight, but they keep getting up, and eventually the bikers are like, you know what, that's pretty badass, like, you know, and they respect them for standing up every time. Um, <laughs> that's it, where I thought they were going to go with it. It's it's a dumb film. It's got some brilliant moments. Um, I'm not watching it right, okay. for our next series, by the way. You're not going to sell to me right now. <laughs> it's not happening. So. Right, no so Tim anyway. Allen films. So anyway, Theon basically kills the guy, goes and washes his face, and they're off to save Yara. Yep. So there's going to be a massive Greyjoy battle. See, I was expecting... I was wondering if Theon was going to walk into the water. Because just keep it, walking. <laughs> but isn't, there, isn't, isn't that the test of whether you're the true Ironborn King or not? If you can go into the water and survive, like be under it for X amount of time. Because you don't, you don't have to do that. Don't and he almost kind of died. I thought he was going to do the ritual and he, fucking think, pass it like that. I think he has to get past Euron first. No, they, they can do anything with Theon. I do not buy he's going to beat Euron in a fight. No, I think Yara's going to bite his dick off. Yeah. You think so? Well, yeah. I think. And I think at the end of it, I think Theon will will enable Yara. stand aside to let Yara take over the Ironborn. I think by the end of the season I want Tyrion to be the king and if I have Tyrion I want Euron Mm. (laughs) I'm pulling for Euron man so yeah then we go back to King's Landing Landing, and Jaime's organising his troops yep to head off north and then Cersei's like what are you doing (laughs) why why are you don't be so stupid and then at that point I was like oh Oh, of course double cross bitch bitch. yeah (laughs) So yeah, so her uh, hair looks funny. awful in this season. She looks like a fucking Vulcan. Yeah. All the time with those <laughs> yeah. when she cocks her eyebrow every time I'm like, Jesus. It's like I feel like I'm watching that episode of Deep Space no, not Deep Space Nine, Star Trek Voyager when the rock appeared as a oh, a Vulcan yeah, this... or maybe a Romulan. And he did the the, the rock eyebrow yeah. and they were in the battle scene and shit. And uh, it just she, it just looks silly, man. <laughs> see, see, just when you're talking about like Tyrion and that, you know how people were talking about like Tyrion riding the dragons and stuff like that. Like there was that would look hilarious. It would be funny. But the first thing Tyrion would do would be to get the dragon neutered. A Lannister always spays his pets. I don't know, there's, no, there's nothing left in me now. It's just, it's just fucking awful. And this is why I tell these jokes. It's not for the joke, it's for the it's reactions. Gonna, it's oh, fucking amazing. Jesus. Well, it's to take someone's soul and just yeah, crumple it a little bit just, more. Yeah, it is, I don't I've got this nice little even. collection of souls I'm going to hump later, you know? So, ruin them further. So, are Can you... I hang myself? Are you that? envy? Could be. Are you jealous? No. <laughs> You can do envy. You're not. I mean this in the nicest possible way. You're not pretty enough mm-hmm. in an uh, androgynous sort of way. Which one? Oh, no, no, no. We're running out of time here. We need to keep moving. Ooh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, so. I can't uh, Full Metal Alchemist, motherfuckers. Watch uh, it, yo. Uh, okay. So, yeah, Jamie and Cersei have their moment. 
and then she says that um, she's um, sent you on off to get the golden company mm-hmm. from Essos. And Jamie goes, "That's unscrupulous," or whatever it is he actually <laughs> says. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a, like an absolutely fantastic posh boy word, and I was like, "Yes, that's brilliant." And did he? I, 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 I'm I just sure can't he said something. What he said. Um, and then see the bit right. When I was watching this. My littlest, my littlest one was sleeping on me, so she had her head on my chest, right? And see when she said to the mountain about, like, killing Jamie, basically. I actually felt, because I could feel my heart beat against her head, I actually felt it, like, fucking like, getting faster. <laughs> I totally bought Jamie was dying. Yeah. I, yeah, I thought, I was like, holy shit, no way they're going to do this. Yeah. And uh, I thought, he's like, he knows he can't beat him, he's just going to accept it. Yeah. This is not yeah. good. Yep. And then he pulls the sword out. I'm like, no. Oh, fuck, here we go. Yeah. And I was still waiting for this big death because I, you still, a PC still goes, no one's safe, no one's safe, even though at the moment everyone's fucking safe. Mm. You know, and then Jamie just walks past and walks off and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And then he's ditched his golden armor. He's wearing some badass looking black stuff. You he's see the snow horse. falling on his hand and he rides yeah, off. Yeah, this is winter. Is and so this is, blanket. My question is, what happens to Bronn now? Mm-hmm. You know, is Bronn going to follow Jamie? Tell you one thing, he won't be sharing a scene with Cersei anyway. No. It'll be the mountain just going up to him and be like, <laughs> Bronn, will, Bronn will be like, oh, right, okay, Jamie's left. Yeah, it's, that makes sense. More silence. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should probably get out of here. You know? <laughs> They're going to have to do it between Kyber and Bronn. Then. That would make more Why sense. can't I remember his name? I think Bronn will just fucking get smart and disappear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But... I love how Tyrion's like, um, I'll pay you double what they're giving you. He's like, what's well, double a castle? And I'm thinking, the twins! Mm-hmm. Huh? You know, the castle, the twins, which is like the two castles. That's doubling your payment. That's, that's not true, one castle, that's two. Yeah, and the Fraser vacated it. <laughs> well, that's, so, that's totally true, that mm-hmm. would work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So but unfortunately, Tyrion doesn't have a castle, let alone two, to give him. Uh, yeah. Not yet. Not what yet. happened to Bronn's wife? Remember he, when he wasn't married to that one when two seasons ago when he had the castle the mini castle he had the castle and the wife yeah. and the whole thing was what happened I don't know that? well was that not he was dressed up in that, like when he came to see Terry he had like a fucking blue he, crushed blue velvet yeah, garb like on and you're like what's this hoi polloi nobility shit and yeah. he's swanning around like the big man um, I, he was he was playing the whole I've got a castle I'm noble this is great but I think he secretly hated it so my feeling is that he's just gone, do you know what, fuck off. And he's left it and gone back to his roguish ways. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was probably explained very quickly by oh. him saying, I just want to fuck whores and something drink like wine that. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Which, realistically, if you boil it all the way down to it, most guys want to do what the guys in Game of Thrones do. Really. Go and kill your enemies, fuck some whores, then drink some wine at the end of the day, get up the next day, do it again. I'll take Podrick. You'll take Podrick. No, as in I would have been Podrick. You'd want to, you'd want to play Podrick. Like if we're talking real, yeah. Yeah. So I'd be like someone squire. I'm trying to think about. Oh, you want to be someone squire? I'd be someone squire, but I don't mind having a magic penis that holds love, so it's all good. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, he's got a magic wand, hasn't he? He yeah. does. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Why so, has that never been focused on? Surely he's the fact that he's got the magic wand. He's the one to tame Brienne. That Surely. Well, oh, anyway, yeah. Don't so, want to see that. Um, <laughs> one, two, or three final things to go over. So the first of them being, we get Arya being summoned yes. to the the hall, the, the main, great, great hall, the great hall, hall in front of. Great hall looks like fucking boss. All the isn't lords it? of the north and the vale and. Lots of soldiers the as well. dark room with a fire in the back corner. Well, Shite. They're not going to have fucking LED strip lighting yeah. around the room, are they? <laughs> disco, disco. Why not? Brands from the future, apparently. Yeah, well, brands from everywhere. Um, and Arya comes in, and she plays the part well, and she's like, are you sure you want to do this? And you're honestly thinking, this is going to be fucking cool. She's going yeah, to gonna dim the torches and kill everyone. What's going you know? yeah. And then... You just you know it's coming as well at the same time, and then Sansa lays out the crimes, Lord Baelish like mm. that, eh? And 
you just see his fucking Patrick Stewart quadruple take, you know, and he's uh, like, uh, <laughs> come again, say that, what was that? Uh, Who, come, me? come again, Sansa. <laughs> and you see his mind working, you see him wheeling and dealing and going round people. And, if yeah. I could just speak to you for a second alone, yeah. away from everyone else, please, I can deal with this. Yeah, yeah, he's doing all these wheely rubbish. And then he drops on his knees and begs for mercy, which is Wait. the only reasonable way that Arya was going to reach him <laughs> to do what she does. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't see it. Okay, and she slits his throat. Toilet break. Toilet toilet break during that bit, and then couldn't, I came back and they talked about how he's dead. Yeah, couldn't pause it, unfortunately, because yeah, so couldn't find the control. She slits his throat. And uh, what I thought would have been pretty cool, though, was if just before, <laughs> just before Arya goes to slit his throat, if he quickly moved, grabbed the dagger, and she's dead before she hits the ground, <laughs> and then the lights go out, come back on, Sansa's missing, Bran's been stabbed, Window's broken and Baelish is gone. And Baelish is actually a secret badass ninja. Uh, Baelish is actually Jack and Hagar the whole time. Oh my god, that'd be so much better! <laughs> See, this is why this is why I'm not liking Game of Thrones as much. Because that's a better fucking way to do it. Yeah, that would be unexpected. And that would be like Arya's final lesson, you never leave the Splurge! And then no one will even care that Sir Pounce the Cat was the prince that's promised, oh, you know? Sir Pounce the fucking cat. Does what? anyone talk about this fucking Sir Pounce the Cat? Oh, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, Sansa's got a cat called Sir Pounce, and people joke that he's the prince that was promised, as are a high. So. Sansa has a cat? Like the actress? No, 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 no. The, the, no, in the show somewhere. She's got a cat. Yeah, I'm dying to see it as well, but I think it's actually a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, bad pussy joke. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> I'll be that's a horrible. Listen back. I don't know. I'm hoping it sounds like a, a, a yeah. cat purring, but it might just sound <laughs> like really creepy. It might sound like this. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like sounds like the buff geek's going on a list. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Another one. This, this is how I imagine Walder Frey sounded. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> just, like, I just imagine that. Hey. Hi, I'm the buff geek, and I'm a registered sex offender. <laughs> just kidding. I haven't registered yet. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. So oh, then we move dear. on to our second <laughs> final scene. Sam arriving. Sam arrives at Winterfell with his family. Mm-hmm. And Bran tells Sam that John is the name? bastard of Rhaegar Brand and Rihanna. Oh, sorry, Brandroid. I coined the name. <laughs> and then. What do you call him then? <laughs> Sam says, well, actually, yeah, information from the High Septon's journal. Says that Rhaegar married Ella Martell. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, Rhaegar's marriage, sorry, to Ella Martell was annulled so he could marry Lyanna. And yeah. Bran goes, Let me check my records. Yeah. <laughs> Zooms back into time. Fuck, you were right. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's actually called Aegon Targaryen. Right, I was confused a little bit by this scene. Why did Sam have to, why did Sam have to correct him? Because Bran can see everything. Bran has, has got this like right fucking. Has has Bran has this database, job. but it doesn't mean he knows everything that's in the database. He has to go and look it up. Yeah, he needs. But sometimes he, he, he was point. like, John is a Targaryen, and then Sam's like, yeah, but he's a Targaryen. And then Bran's like, no. oh yeah, John, no. So I, I'd have missed that. He I, said John was a sand. I went to pee again because <laughs> bastards from Essos <laughs> or bastards um, from that side in Dorne are sand, so he would be John Sand. Bastards Why from Westeros are snow. Why would be a sand? Because they're in the Tower of Joy. He was born in Dorne. The Tower of Joy is in Dorne. And that's owned by... The, or, well, no, but owned I, by the but I thought that woman was a... S- she was a Stark. He was a Targaryen. Yeah, so how could he be a sand if she was a Stark? Because he was born in Dorne to a Targaryen. But I thought I thought the name was based off of who the mother and father. Oh, mm. um, uh, no! It's the okay. with where they're born, is it not? So if you're a bastard born in Winterfell, you're a Snow, regardless yeah. who your parents are. Yeah. And I right, okay. So. If you were down south, you'd probably have a slightly different name. And if you, you're in Dorne, you are Sand. And if you're, I don't know, over in. Marine or whatever, you probably got a totally different name. Okay, right, fine, fine, fine. Now that, I, that I get it. I now. think that's the idea behind it. Anyway. Mm-hmm. 
But I was still I was still a bit confused as to why Sam had to correct him. But I I, I kind of thought it was because yeah. Bran had to look it up. But yeah, it's, it's kind of made Bran look like Brand a bit can, of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. It's like he then, can be where he wants to, but you sometimes got to point him in the right direction. Mm-hmm. That's why when he had like um, in season five, was it when he was doing all these flashbacks mm-hmm. with the the old the I Raven? I think it was. You know, it was like, but we can't stay here any longer. Otherwise, he would have been able to go up the Tower of Joy and would have learnt the R plus L equals J theory then. But why Why would he not have let him go up then? In case oh, no. he leaked it on the internet. So well, that's the only reason that he would have let him. <laughs> what, what, what good reason would it have been for him to not go up? It was a plot device. Oh, yeah. That's all it was. Yeah, but that's, keep that's it, keep shit. It was a bit okay. You're not ready for this in your training. I don't know. Either way, yeah. it's, it's yes. so. But while it's they're revealing this information, did you even give a fuck about them revealing the information? No, because it was it was it it was it was fan theory about two seasons ago, and they like when they knew they were filming in Spain, and the, the, the there was this castle that was picked, which was the Tower of Joy, and the the, the website watchers on the wall that that like reveal all the they get like the clips of them filming stuff. They had already fan theoried it and going, convinced this is the Tower of Joy because it's in the book. This is what's going to happen. This is where we find out John's a Targaryen. It's like two and a half years ago or something. People I remember about hearing this. about it yeah. before and being yeah. like, oh my God, my and mind then, is blown. And then they've and not it had done no they weight to it. They did a whole now. lot in five or six, whenever it was, until this season that they dropped little bits in all the way through that's made you think, like when he pats Drogon on the nose and goes, here, yeah, good boy. Speaking of dropping little bits in, while this conversation's going on, John's porking his auntie. <laughs> uh, yeah, un- un- unbeknown to her, <coughs> they're related. You're getting a nice yeah. shot of his ass, you know? It's a nice yeah. ass. So, uh, th- uh, from that scene, I got a few things, right? First thing was that Jon Snow has got a fine ass. Okay. He does. I can't deny it. The boy squats. <laughs> Second thing was that they start off the scene and he's, he's on the bottom and Daenerys is on the top and I'm like, come on, man. Take her. She used to be with Cal Drogo. Roll her over and be a man about things. And Ah, there we go. Good. He does it. He does. <laughs> Don't lie there and have your hair stroked by her. Mm-hmm. You take charge. And da, 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 charge! Charge! <laughs> and he did. But... Dracara! <laughs> can hell. Try shouting that with the ladies next time, chaps. Try shouting it. See they don't like it you. after five seconds. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Why, a why obviously, do you think that Tyrion was looking uncomfortable there? There's been a lot of chat about this. Yeah, so, so a lot of people are speculating it's it's another part in that he's going to betray them and he's starting to feel bad about it. But that just seems too obvious, right? Well, yeah. Peter Dinklage himself did weigh in on the... Yeah. Did he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he himself has turned around and said uh, something along the lines of he, he's worried because every time Daenerys finds a suitor, something bad happens to them. So it was Cal Drogo. He died because of the blood poisoning. The boy that he she was meant to marry in Marine, something happened to him. He didn't get killed, but he got taken away. You know, the nobleman. I remember this not. No, I, I don't remember. But basically, hey, some bad. What about the guy from? What about the, the... Dario Harris? Yes. Yeah. Well, he's he's still alive. <sighs> Bless you for being able to make sense of me going. <laughs> and you know the, the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing. Seasons ago. Thing. Cut it off. Point at you. Point. 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 It's green and snow. Just totally changed him into another guy. Yeah, that guy. Confused the shit. Out of me. It's amazing that you just know what I'm thinking. Ed Screen abandoned the role because he realised he needed to play by another ethnicity. Oh yes. He wasn't saying that five years ago. No, <laughs> no, he was not. However, uh, so sure nothing that bad happened to that guy. Uh, no, no, Dario still. Apart from he got his heart broken. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just, he, I mean, Tyrion, uh, Peter Dinklage just thinks that he's, he thinks that some bad will happen to John yeah. Snow, and you know it's all going to be horrible. But that's all he's really saying about mm-hmm. it. But I do. So then we've got all that, and then oh, we've shit. got the big fucking. Oh, finale. Yeah, so we're up oh, at the wall. And Beric and Tormund are... Oh. Nothing. Sidebar, continue. Yeah. Yep. Oh, sidebar, sorry. Um, Senior buff geek negotiations is all. <laughs> oh, yeah. The little me is not privy to. <laughs> so Beric and Tormund are, are sitting on the top of the wall, just so the snow's pretty much howling down, having a wee peep what's going on, and then out of the forest. Did, did, did you, did you get walker. excited when you saw... When you saw yeah. Tormund, no, when you saw Tormund yeah. and Barry, when you're not just like, oh yeah, these guys, what are they yes. doing? Yes, awesome. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. 
and then out comes the walker and then the army sort of floods out and stops and there's just hundreds of them they're like shit quick let's go and then you know it's coming you know it's coming and then Dracarys oh right no wait carry on whatever the Night King's equivalent is yeah uh, right, okay. he flies in on the back of a undead undead Viserion with his holes in his wings that fanboys are aired they're like, like going nuts over on the world going like that's not aerodynamically possible because he's got a hole in his wing and he couldn't fly it's like I never noticed that that. is that what you're worried about in a fantasy series come Mm. on yes because because you you make make things that are acceptable I've had this discussion with people a whole bunch of times like the Superman films or whatever film whatever the fuck you've got you've got certain things that are that you will accept like they've already told us how the Night King exists and why that makes sense and all that kind of stuff you can't just like fucking mug off gravity You've got to make it. You've got to make it Realistic, work. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think of this? Because I'm looking at the flame breath, and I'm like, is it ice? No, no, it can't be ice because it would knock everything over. Some so is it just <coughs> blue fire? Seriously, you've never used a Bunsen burner. <laughs> it's just the supreme heat. The, the blue of the part burner. of the Bunsen burner. Oh so yeah, the good blue, point. The blue part of the flame is the hottest point. So he's maybe just supercharged them in his undead state. So that's 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 what plug the Jew cell battery in his backside before he took off. Yeah, so you just I, hear this big. I was reading somewhere that he's dragon sphinx. That there's a second dragon trapped in the ice, and that's his dragon, and that one shoots ice blasts, and this one shoots fire. Mm. Nah, that was for and he pulled out because. Oh no, no, he's mean separately. Uh, another one. There's a dragon within the wall, oh. and that's his his real dragon. Real one. Which fires ice, Maybe it's and Viserion there, yeah. is is shooting blue flame, basically. Yeah. yeah. However, well, there's nowhere to be seen, but you never know that could appear next season. Paul called it, and he said the wall was coming down at the end of the season. Yeah. Oh, so he did, eh? Yeah. He yeah. said the wall was, and yeah, it wasn't the entire wall, but it was a big fucking chunk, mm. and it basically went from the water right up to exactly where Tormund was standing. Yeah. So, so that, that was lucky. Whether, you don't know whether they survived. I, I think they have. He I doesn't know. The same he claims he doesn't know if Tormund survived or not. Well, the actor? Yeah. Right. Yeah, he, he's claimed he was pressed on it. He's like, guys, I, I don't know. I don't know. They yeah. haven't got their scripts yet. Uh, we'll find out in two weeks. He said, though, we'll find out in a couple of years. Mm. Everyone seems to be happened. thinking it'll be beginning in 2019. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it rather than the end of 2018. But see, when the walkers were walking through the wall... You won't have seen this, but... I know what you're about, yes. That's the formation they were walking in. What does it look like? What does that look like to you? Batman. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes! But if you look at the, right. the black, not think the about, white, think not the Think about the a Game of Thrones reference. It looks like a wolf, right? Ah. Uh-huh. That's does it not look like the sigil for House Stark? Yeah, it does look like a wolf. Well, I'm telling you... Yeah. I'm fucking sticking with it. Bran is the Night King. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've read this whole thing. Bran's the Night King. He's went back into yeah. the past, and yeah. the night, and Part he's decided the best way yeah. to make things right is to give them a common enemy, because otherwise, all the houses feud forever and ever and ever over the throne. Mm. Oh, not that one. Bran's just gone back in time to it. stop the children of the forest creating Creator. the White Walker, but in doing so. The White Walker's powerful was the Night King's pa- magic was too powerful, and trapped them in the Night King, and their their magics combined, and that's why he became the Night King rather than just a White Walker. What? So he went back to stop the Night King from becoming the Night King, mm-hmm. right? But he yeah. went back too late. No, he stayed there for too long. It's the whole door, hold the door syndrome. He stayed in the past too long, and he was trapped while they were jabbing him and turning him into the into the Night King. So that once the night, so the night king becomes the night king, yeah, then he bumps into Bran. Bran's conscience in him, so there's effectively two Brans. So he went into the body of the person who was yes. who would become the night that, king. That's, that's why I was reading mm-hmm. it from. That's why I'm thinking. So that's why he looks like a completely different actor and is not Bran, in like season five. Uh, yeah, whatever. They even fucking dress the same though. Well, someone said yeah, they've got the same medallion or something. Yeah, the outfit's kind of similar. Because uh, Lindsay, shout out to Lindsay. See, there's Bran. There's the Night King. You see, they've got the, the shoulder pads. They've got the same skirt. You know, it's the same kind of. Apparently, they've got the same the same brooch or the same necklace. Right. Okay. But I've not. I didn't have a chance to look at um look at that imagery, so I don't know if that's definitely a thing or not. Um, I just, just 
I'm just not going to buy the time travel because it's no. It just feels like they'll be like, oh, and time travel, mm. you know, and then they could just be like, oh, like, and fucking laser guns. I like how they looped it round for Hodor. I do. I think that was a brilliant. But that wasn't detail. time travel necessarily. Yeah. That's not taking someone and going back in time. Yeah. That's watching something. Yeah. And then well, relaying the information. He's interfered with it. Because Hodor could see he, him. Because he, he, he wired into Willis in the past. Yeah, and but... And he got trapped there. Well, whatever happened. Was he trapped there? Well, it's, he interfered too. He was too long in the past. He interfered. And he had, but he had to hold real life Hodor against the door. Oh, God, I, I can't quite remember the whole thing. It gets a bit befuddling. Yeah, they just get a bit crazy. I... Th- I think if they do this, it's totally a lazy plot device. It's a bit cool. Yeah, I don't even... I'm sticking with Bran as the Night King. I think it's going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. No one will see it coming. Um, Except everybody. Apart from everybody. Yeah. I think the problem with Game of Thrones now is that... There's so there's so many fan theories and speculation. Some of them are... They're going you know, to really struggle to make something new up. That's why you've got to go with there's, something there's like... shit. Yeah. yeah. You've got to go with something like Tyrion turns heel on a whole bunch of people yeah. and... He's he's the king with Euron as the hand, and really like that. you know the guy with the the guy with the name I can't remember. Kyburn. Kyburn as like his other hand, fucking and hell. the fucking and you, get, Braun, you guys aren't witnessing this. This is Bronn is his fucking <laughs> general of Can't armies. Yeah. What are you? What? Nothing kind of. What's creepy really about it? I never said creepy. I said crunky. Crunky. <laughs> crunky. Crunky. Yeah. Crunky. That's crunky. Dance, isn't it? Crunk. Something. You're no, talking anyway. to me and my dad jokes. Fucking hell. <laughs> anyway, that's oh. right, yeah. anyway, that's why I think they need to do something totally that's just random as Left fuck. Field. Yeah. Left field. It's not going to be shit. Oh, it was all a dream. You know what happened? This well, that's what it kind of feels like if they if they do time travel, like literal time travel yeah. with Bran. It's like, yeah. All a dream. You know what did happen in this episode, though? It's basically how Stark is now doomed to extinction. Mm. This, 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 is, this, is, this is this is looping us back. To oh yes, yes, yes. This, this is Kev's thing. Yes. So because are we going back to John, time right now? No, 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 no. We are. We're kind of looping back to about an hour ago. Well, yeah, because we never no. actually talked about hour it because we want to talk about the episode. Is that? Uh, like something it. like that. Bullshit. Um, yeah, one twenty. Oh damn it! I thought we were doing well as well. If we we actually it, have If we done. take it to ten minutes of Steve waffling and giggling at the start, we might be all right. No. <laughs> oh, you're recording. Oh no. <laughs> Wow. Um, so yeah, basically, how Stark's done because the girls, whoever they marry, the kids will take on their name. Uh-huh. Brand Droid is never going to be a park and ride, so he's a uh, he's probably not interested in having kids because that's such a human activity. He's ascended to something else. Yeah, yes, exactly. He, he's, he's I am three eyed Raven. He's yeah. beyond getting a pinger. Yeah, he's so. might, he might as well say that he's the Iron Fist. He's that fucking boring. <laughs> Destiny. Um, and if you want to hear about the Defenders, fun. check out our previous podcast. There you go. Episode uh, 156. I want to say 156. I think so, yeah. Could be 157, um, though. And, so the, and John's not a Stark, he's a Targaryen. Therefore, there will be no next generation named Stark. Stark. Mm. But he doesn't have to take the name of Targaryen. Wouldn't true. you? Because that's he a true heir yes. to the throne. But that's his real name. But Jon Snow doesn't want to be the king of the throne. Yeah, they, they've played enough that he could renounce all claim to that and go he back. He would renounce and say, it's okay, Daenerys, you, yeah. you work for this, and you Daenerys want this. Let's pretend I'm not your nephew and, and go fuck again. And Daenerys could then legitimise him as Jon Stark to rule in Winterfell and the North. Why well, isn't he all legally considered to be John Stark now? Uh, no, because no one... You know how, like, Ramsay Snow... legal. Oh, okay. ...confirmed him officially as Ramsay Bolton. Yeah, 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 yeah. Son, you know, oh, that never happened, did it? Was. Um, no one ever has done with John Snow, no. He's just been... All the, the other bannermen of the North have just accepted him as the King of the North, but no one's ever legitimised him as such. But no one, no one, no one ever calls him John Stark? No. No, no, because it sounds John Snow. Jo- John Snow. Yeah, Jesus, your impression Snow. gets worse every week. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> well, caught you yourself. I was like, oh, maybe just pushed it too <laughs> close there. No, 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 no. <laughs> he shot it before I moved into him. <laughs> into me. Whoa, Dracarys. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes, done. Done for another year. I Two years. One thing, one thing I did, well, whenever it comes back. One thing I did like about this episode, so a lot of people 
was it Paul that put in the chat he thought it was the best episode ever and I was like whoa yeah. hold your horses here mm-hmm. I'm not even convinced it's the best episode this season let alone ever I'll I, agree with you okay I would place four then six then seven definitely best season finale I, I, yeah, nah. I get that because it's Last episode of every Red season Wedding has always been. Yeah, that was, was episode, episode nine. nine. Everything happens in the ninth episode. Yeah, the tenth when was one the usually ten the fallout. Yeah, <laughs> that's the best episode. episode. <laughs> that's the best episode of Game of Thrones. Ever ever. Yeah. I quite like the mountain and the viper. But that's just for one scene. Yeah. And what was that uh, for? And smash the, the beetle. Brienne and, and no, the fight between Ober and Mountain, where he crushes his skull. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, but that is just for one scene. I don't know. Yeah, but that's the same one where he's like, "I'll be your champion." Actually, the battle. What was the one? Black. What was the one where where mm-hmm. Tyrion is on trial? Tyrion's trial. His... Uh, I want to say episode five, seven, season four, five, five. It's middle. It's about middle of the season. I remember there being a fucking shit ton of quality acting. Does he not find that out one that was awesome? Did he not win an Emmy that season? Though, and it was pretty much that was that was a lot to do with it. That, that scene was awesome. He was, was so good in that. Properly. Honestly, the, yeah. the, with the as as the focus has been less on Tyrion, my love for the, this show has been yeah. well lessened. But back then, um, it, basically everything he did in King's Landing, you know, he yeah, was the dog's I, I loved Tyrion in King's Landing. That yeah. was my fucking jam. When he's like, um, you know, sneaking Shay around back and all that stuff. Oh, absolute quality! And when he found out yeah. Shay was fucking Tywin. Oh, I felt I felt sorry I, for him. Really, that was a like you bitch. Yeah, and when he was killing her, I mean that would have, that would have hurt, but yeah. also been so satisfying that yeah. how conflicted he was. Like, yeah, he I, shoots his dad and fucks off. Uh, Peter Dinklage like, is yeah. the absolute man. I wish they'd give him yeah. like a a leading role in a. I thought we'd have had a lead role in a film by now. Yeah. You know? He's yeah. just so fucking good. Like, ever since Nip Tuck. I've uh, not seen Nip Tuck. You know? Oh, it's, it's so good. Things. But when he when he, when he he was in it in, like, 2001, 2002, I was like, this guy is amazing. The depth that you get, that you get from him. Mm-hmm. Um, I found it really confusing when John and Danny were fucking, and I was like, so, that's his sister, right? Danny. Yeah, I know. So I had to go and look online mm. and figure all this out. And then I was like, okay. Because when he said he, he was Aegon Targaryen, mm. I thought to myself, wait, I know that name. There's like, there's a whole bunch of them. There's another Aegon Targaryen. And then I found out there was the like a whole bunch the of them. The minister from... Isn't the dad Aegon? What's that? The dad? Isn't the dad, the Mad King? That is, he's not Rhaegon. He, the the, the minister from there, by Castle the way. Black was... Was Aegon. Oh, he was an Aegon target. Yeah, yes. I thought somebody else was it. So yeah, that, that was her. See, I was confused yeah. because I thought the whole time until like literally two days ago when I looked up that the Mad King <coughs> took uh, Baratheon's to be wife and did the raping and all this type of stuff. And I, 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 I took out that whole. That whole section where Daenerys had another brother. Uh, Vis- Vis- now, what was he? Vis- 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 Viserys? No, that was the one she killed, uh, that Khal Drogo killed. Yeah, the one Khal Drogo killed, yeah. But I, I, I took out the whole fact that she had a brother. A, se- a second brother that... Oh, you're pulling it up right now and I'm not doing very well, a very good yeah, job yeah. explaining this because... Um, right, well, so what have you we're got? right have down you the got bottom. The, you, what's that, a family tree? Yes. Oh, oh no, I've got a better right, one. Christ, darling. That's that. really complicated. Right. What well, I'm trying to find out. One thing that pickled there's my There's Daenerys mind. there. There's Viserys there. And there's Rhaegar there. And there's Elia Martell that he married. And there's Aegon and another child's name. And then you've got other ones up the top as well. So Rhaegar... Yeah, so I thought Rhaegar was the Mad King. So I thought that Jon Snow was her brother. But I didn't realise that Rhaegar was her... Her was her actual brother, and the, the, the Mad King was yeah, it's, it's above really him. Confusing. So I was totally confused when people were making jokes about aunties and stuff like that. I'm like, <laughs> they're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. Nope. That's not a good family tree, though. I found a way better one. You cocksucker. Um, can someone talk while I <laughs> while I find this, please? I mean, I'm trying to. So, thing I'm trying to find is when they did the flashback to the wedding. Was the guy? Have I spoke to you about this at work? I can't remember. Was the guy who played? Have I spoke to you about this at Aegon, work? Aegon Targaryen was her dad, granddad, great granddad. 
Ah, uh, this is the, this is the daddy. This is the daddy. This one here. And it shows you how the Starks and the and the Targaryens link up. King Aerys was that not the Mad King? Aerys the Second. Yes. Yes, it was. So Aerys, that's what I was trying to explain to the people at home there that Aerys was the Mad King. I thought Rhaegar was the Mad King the whole time, always. <laughs> Um, I didn't realise that that was Dan, uh, Danny's brother and that that is also subsequently Jon Snow's father. Fuck me, this is one heavy family tree, like. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, look at look at all that. Anyway, we need to get it's wrapping not, up. It's not. I thought it was the same actor that played both, but it's not. No, I thought that at first as well. Yeah. It looked a lot, a lot like him, eh? Yeah, they, they styled him. But... You know what I want to know now, though, is Robert's Rebellion... Was that based on the fact he believed she'd been kidnapped, raped, etc.? Yes. Or was it based on the fact that he was angry that she'd married the Targaryen? Yeah, and set out for revenge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. all done in a lie. The whole, the whole premise, the whole beginning of this now has, has turned its head now that it's been confirmed. So basically, I love Robert him. should never ever have been king ever anyway. So what I want to know is where does that leave... I'm going to do it again. John. No. Uh, Gendry. Gendry, there we go. Yeah. Ah, you failed me. Yeah, sorry. Steve. <laughs> Trying to make the same way. Well done. Who's yeah. a good boy? Who's a good boy <laughs> for understanding my. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. oh, shit. You touched me. That's how it goes, people. I have the magic touch. <laughs> Don't I'm like again. Podrick. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Mm-hmm. No? Okay. Nothing? Nothing? No. no, I don't know why, yeah. So, yeah, what, what does that mean for Gendry? Gendry's just been fucking bumped. Yeah, well, he was bitched off in this episode yet again. Anyway, they only brought him back just so he could do his 10k run to the mm-hmm. home wall. They, were, they, they must have thought, does anyone think that they would buy any of these guys being on a boat that much? Mm. No, we need no. to get someone small. Let's get, let's, get, let's get the best rower in the land. The only person that could the do it. The guy has been doing two years of cardio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve, uh, who's, who's the Olympian? Oh, shit, what's his name? You have to click your fingers like Johnny does, and I'm not telling you. Backshaw? No, Steve Backshaw's the, the nature dude. Steve. Oh, that is, that is disappointing, right? Anyway, it doesn't fuck matter. it. Doesn't what matter, do you think right? that means for Gendry then? Because uh, we were thinking Gendry. We thought he might have a legitimate claim. So he's got like. A, he's even less of a is he like claim third now. string now? Because surely it goes John Daenerys, then That's, Gendry. Yes, I think that's the proper pecking order now. Although, yeah. sort of, it's Cersei's kid, which I don't even believe she's pregnant, not no, even a little no. bit. Redgrave. Steve Redgrave. Steve Redgrave. Redgrave. Sir Steve Redgrave. Oh, give me his proper title. And, and so, technically, it's Cersei's not actual kid. fake pregnancy. Yeah. And then there's John, and then there's Danny, yeah. as it stands now. And then there'd be Get. No. Yes, Gendry. Gendry, who's yeah. Cersei's yeah. kid. Who's actually Cersei's kid? So does that oh, make him jump to the front? Uh, no, because Baratheon should never have been actual, king anyway. But, but if he was Cersei's actual kid and Cersei's on the throne at the minute, does he not then be first in line? Probably. In, in fact, no, he would be priority over her. In the same, a, in the same way, in the same oh, way that Joffrey. It's all about. It's all about dicks. Yes. yes. <laughs> so we're back to that. Cox. Sorry. Um. But the last thing before we finish I wanted to ask about was what's this whole deal with when was Tana- Daenerys told that she'd be betrayed once for love once for gold and once for something else yeah, I don't remember. It was the whole was by the witch the same time was it the witch could, was, that, um, was that by the witch I was thinking it was by the witch she's was totally having a kid to John, by the way yeah. so when has she been betrayed though um, because someone said someone wait, said online brother, this would be her third betrayal her brother who sold her yeah, to try and unite his armies yeah um, Jorah who betrayed her for money mm-hmm. yeah so Jon Snow's the one who's got to do it for love or does Tyrion do it I don't know for love I don't know mm, but, but, but not love for her love for mm, his family name yeah, well, yeah. in the books yeah, okay, after the sense, whole so thing where she can't have kids yeah. Her menstrual cycle stops, and then just before she's picked up by the Dothrakis at the end of season five, in the book, she starts bleeding. Mm. But they're not going to go into that detail on the TV show, so I, I think. I wish they would. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a dark place today. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. folks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they had vampires' tea bags back then, so I don't know what they would do with it. <laughs> uh, 
Um, no. So oh. I think I got whole, a story about that. We'll do it off here. <laughs> Um, I so I think the whole John saying who told you that or do you ever think they might be lying was their only way around saying oh she might have a kid yeah you know? and it was just addressing that situation rather than I kind of thought it was John saying <laughs> prophecy smophecy I'm I could fuck a kid into you yeah <laughs> I'm man enough to do it I'm shooting once and scoring big time yeah, yeah. <laughs> You brought up another question in my head there for a second, but I've totally forgotten it after no, you made won't. that joke about tea bags. Oh yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> was it, so was actually some legit. There was a legit question uh, I was going to ask him, yeah. and mm. now I've, I've lost it. Something to do with Daenerys. Something to do with Daenerys, mm. pregnancy, mm. kids. Mm. I'll remember it on the next podcast. Yeah. That means folks, you need to listen to the next podcast, yeah, which will be based on movie news. That's yeah. called the hook, yeah. people. <laughs> so we're going to talk about. A Hellboy casting mm. and someone being very heavily politically correct, if you would even call it that, by leaving. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about, or well, you're going to talk a whole bunch about the DCEU. Okay. Probably a whole lot of trash talk. Yep. And, well, actually, there's, a, there's some more DC news, which we'll, I'm going to dr- <laughs> drop on top of you. And, yeah, just a whole bunch of other movie stuff. So you should probably come back for that. <laughs> You should definitely come back for that. Sounds like a plan. God damn. God damn. Speaking of plans, if I was looking for a fitness plan, where would I find one? You would probably contact Alpha Fitness. All right, okay. How would I do that? Well, you could do that through a little website that we have here called thebuffgeekpodcastblog.wordpress.com. I bet no one heard you click in the mouse there to find that. (laughs) Fuck you. Well, I want to. I was showing you, like I was doing, uh, like a show and tell. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Because show and tell for your clientele. He's totally you. you. Oh, yeah. nice. Show yeah. and tell for the clientele, yo. That reminds me. Check out the YouTube channel at the Buff Geek, and everywhere else at the Buff Geek, and you'll find a whole bunch of stuff that you want to know about. At the Buff Sign Geek. off. Uh, so you'll get me at Wise Pranker on Twitter, which is the hotspot at the minute. Um, occasionally on Facebook under Stephen Henshaw. Is that at the actual hotspot, Dad? What? Is that the actual hotspot, Dad? That's where all the cool kids go. <laughs> is that where all the cool kids go, eh? Hey? That's where all my followers are. <laughs> <laughs> the cult of Steve. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, He's married yeah. like three women already, you know? <laughs> Why would you marry them when you just fuck them and drop them? Well, part of his cult he's got to marry them first and then he fucks them oh. and he doesn't drop them they just go off on their I, own into I, the world I, I, I'm not in a cult just to uh, clarify well what about your followers you've just let them all down Twitter they're not real friends come on <laughs> <laughs> we don't got none <laughs> anyway where are we going to find you I don't know I'm still waiting for you I've finished I know but I'm t- throwing it back to you but How often do you say that? Everywhere. What? I'm finished. I'm finished. finished. <laughs> <laughs> Just changing it to Jakarta. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm finished. <laughs> then roll over. <laughs> See, it's not the same as it used to be when Steve would freeze when you made him speak. It's just not the same. No. Oh, I missed yeah, it. Getting too comfy at this now. <laughs> oh yeah. Go back and listen to the Captain. It was a Captain America one. Was it Captain oh, America? Yeah, the very first one I did. <laughs> You just because I was really quiet at the beginning because I didn't think I was even going to talk. I thought I was just there for like technical support, and I kind of slowly. Well, originally, you were the guy in the chair. Yeah, I was the guy in the chair, and I just chipped in a couple of bit nuggets every now and again because because I, I started feeling a bit comfier, and then you just wrecked me right at the end. I was just like uh, 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 on the spot, and then I fucked up the next one as well. I can't remember like next couple. Even wrote my show, on my show. Enjoy your mints, are you? Enjoy I'm your mints. I'm loving the mints. You want one? No, I don't want one. Do thank you. Put, like all my. All- on my Twitter handles, on my notes, <laughs> so I can get it right. So he gets it on your hand, but he sweated that much that he's like, "You'll find me at Twit Pranker Wise." <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Steve it. Oh, I'm tired of these jokes about my big hands. The first such occasion started by. <laughs> What film was that from? That's from The Simpsons. <laughs> that was it, yeah. Oh, oh my god. You can find me at D Stoby in the usual places. You'll get us on the Buffkeep Podcast blog dot Where's that? On the internet. <laughs> A fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, what do you big man? Did you know what that means? Did you sign off first? You finished. <laughs> I was waiting for him to jump in there. <laughs> he thinks he's the big man now because he's got a set of fucking guns. Look at the size of them. Yeah. <laughs> Help those plans at Alpha Fitness, yo. <laughs> getting swole, getting getting walled or frame. Hashtag the Buff Geek Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear>. Awesome. <laughs> I asked Steve how we're going to finish the show and he said (laughs) (laughs) he he said let's do the cocks (laughs) no I'm not sure if that's some kind of fucking dance or (laughs) pork sword fighting I don't know but I think um, I don't think we can finish we can't really finish with anything else but let's do the cocks (laughs) Cox. <laughs> Hashtag let's do the Cox. <laughs> oh no. I give up. <laughs> nope. Oh. I'm not No. <laughs> give him a soft touch. Get that away from me. Oh dear. Mm-hmm. Cox! Because then there's Karen by now. <laughs> oh, Karen, you're stuck. You know how in Netflix you get the next episode button? <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.